Just leaving Jiu Jitsu now, it appears like we have a little bit of a situation. I decided to come to the city in my super high fashion uh, joggers. And uh, I think I lost my wallet on the train. I think it fell out of the pockets. So I'm in the city without any wallet or De Niro. No Robert De Niro, no taxi driver. I'm kind of concerned how I'm gonna get home. <laughs> What's up fam? How's it going? This was supposed to be a super exciting vlog about an 80 mile road race that I did this weekend. Except I didn't do it. I got super sick. Super sick. Such a bummer. And uh, instead this has turned into a vlog about how to train when you're sick. And really it should be, here's what I did that you shouldn't do in order to do better than I did because what I did was stupid. So I've been training for a long time. I've been working out since I was 16, 15, 14. I've been working out a long time. I've made a lot of mistakes. And one of them, one of the biggest ones, one of the biggest ones is figuring out how to work out when I'm sick. So this weekend, basically Friday-ish, I noticed a little cold coming on. I went uh, bowling with my coworkers after work and then I went to Nogi Jiu Jitsu and at the end of Nogi I was a little tired but I knew I had this race to do so I got super excited about the race and started working on my bike and I was up till super late working on my bike. What's up fam? It's about 9 p.m. I just got home from Jiu Jitsu. I signed up for a bike race tomorrow. Might not have been the best idea. We got a good hour of work to put in on my bike right now. First step, we gotta clean this thing. And for that, uh, gotta go outside, otherwise I will destroy my apartment. It's been pouring rain here all week, all winter really. Yeah, the bike is oof, dirty. Take care of all this, all of this muck. New brake pads, new tires, new bottle cage. I think that's about it. My hands are pretty dirty. The glamour of being an amateur cyclist. And then I woke up Saturday morning and there was just no way, no way I was gonna ride my bike competitively for you know six hours with a bunch of dudes who are way faster than me right now. So I called it. So 7 a.m. and I feel like I got hit by a brick. Um, that was it. Uh, I said no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, which is good, I stand by that decision. But I still decided to kind of push it a little bit and I went to Jiu Jitsu on Saturday morning. And then went for a little spin on, uh, on Saturday night. I was just a mess on Sunday and like really boof, and then Monday boof, and then today boof, and Valentine's Day and I just look like my face is swollen and I just can't think straight and full of Dayquil and anyways so I wanted to kind of give you a few tips ideas suggestions on what you should do when you're sick here we go Tip one, don't train. That's, I know it sucks, I know, I'm sorry. I, I told you that these were gonna be tips on how to train when you're sick, but I'm telling you now, just don't train. Take 24 hours and just do nothing. I promise you, I promise you, you will not get fat, slow, weak, or skinny in 24 hours. Like no huge change will happen in 24 hours other than you will get more sick if you continue training. Skip this video back like 30 seconds. That's exactly what happened. So rest, sleep, eat. It sucks. You may put on like a pound just from hydration, just from taking in a bunch of electrolytes which have a bunch of sodium in it which are gonna make you swell a little bit, which is why my face is a little puffy right now. But it's not real weight. You're not gonna get fat. Rest, tip one. Tip two, scale everything back by about 60 to 50%. So that means if you're gonna go on a four hour ride, go on maybe an hour and a half long ride. 
And if you were shooting for, you know, having an average heart rate of 145, shoot for an average heart rate of about 115. You know, I, I actually try and avoid cardio a bunch when I'm sick because all these annoying head colds turn into like super nasty chest colds and take way longer to go away when I start doing like high intensity uh, interval training while I'm sick. Oh, so that's step two, three. Exercises you can do or things that I do recommend doing when you're sick. Body weight exercises. So push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, planks, all the kind of basic standards. If you're normally a weight training guy, I would say maybe scaling your weight back 50% and just working on your form, on just movement. Get outside, soak up some vitamin D. But really, your body's working super hard to kind of combat the sickness and so the longer you're using the energy that would be used to combat the sickness, the less your body has that energy to do that with, so the longer it takes for you to recover and then you just end up like sick for two weeks when you really should have been sick for like two days, which is kind of where I'm at right now. This is a cautionary tale. Learn from me, please. The third thing, and I just wanna reiterate this, is sleep. Like I know sleep is the cousin of death, right? But sickness is actually the cousin of death. And if you're sick, you're just gonna get more sick. And if you're not giving yourself that time to recover, then your body's gonna make it take time. And then you're just gonna be sitting at home on Tuesday instead of riding your bike or training jujitsu because you were stubborn. So those are my tips. I hope this is helpful for you because it has been for me. Till next time, keep the rubber side down and take care of yourselves.